If you're looking for an answer to the mystery of Christian misery, Hebrews 12, 15, X marks the spot. He says, see to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God. Here's a wonderful thing. Every time you're going through a hardship, every time you're going through a trial, every time you're going through a painful circumstance and God is disciplining you because he loves you, do you know what he gives you? He gives you grace, all right? There is abundant grace. Paul called it sufficient grace for every trial, for every circumstance. I went to the doctor. I have three months to live. There is enough grace for that. I got a man in my church right now who served the Lord faithfully for 40 years. Phenomenal marriage. Wonderful children and grandchildren. Just at retirement. He'll be dead by Christmas, all right? And we go visit him, and I see him. <laughs> And he has enough grace, in spite of his questions, to have the joy of the Lord in his life. Now, I'm telling you, you say, oh, Pastor James, you don't know what I'm going through. Let me tell you, God's grace is enough for that. And if you don't have enough grace for what you're going through, if you hate the people around you, if you're wallowing in sin, if, if, if you're struggling with, with attitudes that are not consistent with the life of a Christian because of things that have happened to you, you're not getting the grace. And that's why he exhorts us here, I mean, how strong could the language be? See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God. So not only am I supposed to make sure that I get the grace of God in my trial, but I'm supposed to make sure that you get it too. I'm supposed to look out for the people around me and say, man, we got to all get the grace. we got to get to God, and we got to get the grace that God has available. 2 Timothy 2.1 uh, 2, says, be strong in the grace. See, you got to get the grace that God offers to get through the circumstances of life. Now, the reason why so many Christians are so cheesy and angry and bent about everything and what is your deal, okay? Do you know any Christians like that? The reason why so many Christians are like that is because they fail to obtain the grace.